In this video, we're going to show you how to create checklists and tie those to task types and why that's useful. So basically, the checklist that you tie to task types, when you select a certain task type, the software will go ahead and load a checklist for you. And that checklist is useful for your technicians. Uh, maybe you're a pool company and you need to make sure your technicians have brushed, skimmed, checked chlorine levels, and put the hose back when they're done. Maybe they're just terrible at those four things. So we can create a checklist for them to fill out while they're in the field, and that kind of makes sure that they you know, follow your company's policies. So we're going to go ahead and start with how to create a checklist. In the service program, to create a checklist, you're going to go to Task Info along the top of the software, go to Task Info, and then Maintain Checklists. When you first get here, it's going to look like this. It's not going to have anything set up. So all you have to do on this first line here is just start typing the name of the checklist. Maybe we're going to call this the technician checklist. Once you tab out or click out, the system's going to ask you basically, hey, this is not in the list. Do you want to save this now? Um, so if you hit yes to add it now, it'll always be an option to use. If you hit no, then it's not going to save it. So you really want to hit yes. You can remove these at any time or edit them. So just hit yes. And then you have a sort order. This is just the order that you want these to show up on the checklist. I'm going to go ahead and just fill out a couple checklist questions here. The first one is, did they brush? And you do not need to fill out the answers here. You can just put in the uh, question here. And then I'm going to go ahead and select checklist again. Because I have a couple more questions I need to get onto this checklist. Um, so I want to know if they've brushed, if they've skimmed. I also want to make sure that they have um, checked the chlorine. And maybe we also want to know if they put the hose back. So again, these can be used in any industry. Checklists are not specific to pools. I'm just using this as an example. Uh, we cover a wide variety of industries. So if you can think of a reason for a checklist, you can create it here. And the system does not care. So to save these changes, just click Close. We now have a checklist created. First thing is, you do not have to tie a checklist to a task type. Let's say we go into the task entry here, because we have a new customer that called that needs us to go out and look at a pool. Um, please come take a look at the pool. So we can actually put the description in. And down here, we have an option to select the checklist. We actually have two areas. First one is you can select the checklist here and then hit yes to load the checklist. If you hit no, it's not going to load a checklist. Once you hit yes, if we go to the checklist tab, you're going to see all my questions and answers are here. The other thing is you don't have to select at the front of this task detail here. You can just click on the checklist tab, hit the drop down, select the checklist you want to load, and hit load. It'll then throw all this in here. You'll notice that we don't have any answers yet. These are for your technicians to fill out. So when you sync this task to the mobile side, the checklist will show up within the task, and then your technicians will have to check it off or answer those one by one. Yes, I did this. Yes, I did that. Yes, I handled everything that we need to handle here. When it comes back into the system, all of these will be filled out. Now the next piece is tying this to a, a task type. So maybe every time you load a certain task type, uh, maybe every time we load, maybe we need a task type for a uh, pool, pool opening. It's not on the list. Would we like to add it now? Yes, we do. And it's asking if we want to load the checklist. We're going to hit no right now. So let's go ahead and double click that pool opening. And what brings us in here to the task type, from right here, you're going to notice that we actually, if we slide over here, we have an area to select a checklist name. I'm going to select the tech checklist, and then I'm going to click close. So what this system is saying right now is when we select pool opening, load this checklist. I'm going to go ahead and close this, and I'm going to close this task because I want to make sure the system has a chance to save these settings. I'm going to create a new task so that we can actually see this work here. Uh, and actually, we don't want to fill that out. We just want to select our task type, pool opening going to ask, would you like to load the checklist? If you hit yes, it'll load the checklist. If you hit no, it's not going to load it. 
but the point of this is to load it. So let's go ahead and hit yes. And if we click on our checklist tab, we now have those questions. So it's fairly easy to attach a, a list of questions or checklists to a task type, and you can see how those are useful.